Are we on air? <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? You already know this is Brad City Gamers, your host. And we're still on our Dark Souls journey. Traversing, Lodron. You already know. So, yeah. Shout out to Brad City Gamers. They're awesome. And I appreciate the opportunity. This is amazing. And a lot of fun, too. I, I enjoy this thoroughly. <laughs> yeah. So we left off killing Manus in our last stream. That was crazy. That was a crazy fight. But um, now we're not completely done with the DLC. There's the dragon left. So, <laughs> so we're going to... Wrap, wrap all that up and go fight. His name is Calamite. Black Dragon Calamite. So we're gonna go to attempt to take him out and then uh, see how things go from there. Hey, what up? Oh, there you are. Just so you know, Master Logan has left on his own again. It seems ah. that he is still determined and I have decided that I must search for him. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you know, I saw him. He was up in, uh, in the archives. Yeah. Nah. He's good. You know, I need to go for him. <laughs> but alright, so we're gonna go back. Um, to the township. It's gonna be our shortest path here. Oh, we actually have two things to do. Hmm. Do a little bit of a, a little bit of warm up to get ourselves in the zone. Now, we, if we remember, remember that was the PVP section, but we came up this way to find a locked door and through our adventures down in the chasm of the abyss. We've uh, uncovered a key and have not found a purpose for the key. I suspect it opens this door. <laughs> Check this out. Oh! Boss fight! No, I'm just kidding. Where have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. I am. Old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And we I am. Blind. Blind. Little help to me, I'm afraid. He's a blind carver. Blind wood carver. <laughs> Purchase item. Here we go. So some dung pie. Nice. <laughs> we also got some homer bones, prism stones, and here's what you can is the the thing to buy from him is the hello carving and the thank you carving. He actually makes these, and that's why whenever you the, we found two carvings already. And when you drop them, it says a phrase. And it says it in that deep voice because it's, it's actually his voice. <laughs> now, um, it's five souls to buy. Yeah, we're going to buy that. Yeah, we're going to buy that. Buy like two of these, so. Alright, and he sells Titan Knight Shards and he sells great arrows. These are his, his great arrows. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to talk to him again. Be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. Ooh. You hear that? He said we're no match. He just said that we're no match. Oh, what? What you trying to say, bro? There's very little to be said. Who good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Interesting. Farewell, you. Farewell, bro. So, so to begin our encounter with Black Dragon Kalami, um, he's warned us of the dragon, and we've already seen a glimpse of him when he crossed our, the bridge in our last stream. Oh boy. So, 
so all right hey <laughs> Some little kitty is causing a muck. Alright. Oh, look, it's the grave of Artorius. That was, that was, it was an honorable fight. But boy, you crazy! You crazy! Alright. Into the uh, wood. Now. This way, courtesy of you know someone who dra dragon ahead. Oh great! I think we're on the right path. Weakness, <laughs> hope. <laughs> That's funny. Now before continuing forward, we have seen an item back here. I'm gonna loop back, but we're gonna have a couple of uh, those dogs down here. What up, fellas? Can I aggro one at a time? Doesn't look like it. Got him. All right. Our halberd is nasty. All right. Let's see here. Large soul of a brave warrior. Nice. Oh, there's another one. That'd be aggro. Yank. Got him. I yada yada. Him. Got him. Put in the head with that one. What you thought this was, bro? Weakness, giant. Dragon ahead. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Forward we traverse. I think we're getting close, guys. Big open area. Mm-hmm. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, these people are so, are so funny. Alright. Now, you don't have to be a video game, an experienced video game player to know that this area is a boss, a boss arena. <laughs> it's a big open space like this. Look at Dark Souls putting out some loot to to bait you into it. Uh, I don't want to grab it. I don't want to grab it. I think he actually. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Yeah. Out. You would have died instantly if you got caught in that. Oh, he's coming back. I think he just keeps doing it. Oh, boy. I'm not afraid of you. Ah! Oh, D. That black flame. Crazy. Crazy. Worry not. Worry not. Worry not. 
for that must happen. For the same reason we fought, um, not same reason, but similar to when we fought Seek the Scaleless, our first encounter with this dragon, we, we must die. There is no way to defeat Calamity on that, on that try. And I, I didn't wear a ring of sacrifice because I didn't have that that many souls, so I wasn't stressed about it. Um, yeah. So, and let's go. You know, actually, I'm gonna pop one of these guys. Look at this little man is hot. I'm just kidding. Got him. Alright. It's funny how we can teleport to, to the past with these bonfires. <laughs> it's just the DLC is like in a different timeline. Kindle reverse. Alright, we're gonna go back. Cause now we 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 had an, an encounter with the dragon, and clearly, like we saw, all we saw him do was just flying around do, doing that flame. So like, how in the world can we even fight that? You know, so that's the point. I'm supposed to be able to fight him. So we're gonna come back to this guy, but we had to talk to him the first time to trigger these series of events. Whew. So you, you said you, you said something about this dragon. Black dragon passing me direct. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamit, a ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere. The bitter end. Ask him if we want to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's take him out, bro. Good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? <laughs> You've taken a liking to me, and I owe you much for thy service to Artorius. Now, walk and see how God hunts dragons. Oh. Oh. Very rare we get cutscenes. He's blind though. That's just crazy. Now, now we have a chance. Let's go. A little bit of help from Go. Let's go. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Move this to the right. Royal Woods. I 
I do hope someone signs it down because we are going to probably need some help with this fight. It is insane. See, now there's a fog gate there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now it's an actual boss fight. Once it drops their sign. Looks like no one. Alright, it's just us. We're gonna have to build the strategy. Oof. Let's go. My souls. Oh, it's a Titanite lizard. It's chilling. Ah! Now it's a fight. Thought I was dead. All right, I got this. Nah, I got this. We got this. I just had to. Just had to, you know, encounter and see and see how it's fighting. We got this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. <laughs> there used to be times I would do this, you know, ha put it in my... Oh, never mind. I can't get invaded here. But before I killed Manus, there used to be times I would try to fight the dragon first. And I would get invaded all the time in that spot. Like the second I, uh, the second I turned into a human, like the bonfire would just deactivate because I was getting invaded. It would happen consistently. Ah! Look, this is gonna be funny. This guy's putting his sign down because he wants to help someone fight Artorius. I'm gonna be like, uh-uh, bro. We're fighting the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this way, bro. <laughs> He's gonna be like, all right. I'll be like, all right, this way. Come on. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Imagine he leaves the world like, uh uh. Nope. Hello, sir. Uh, I bid thee good tidings. Today we venture to the Black Dragon. Having a distraction is a great advantage. Hey, what up, dog? Ah. Ah, I tried to sneak up on me. I lost stamina. Is he still with me? Yeah, he is. What's he doing now? You ready, bro? Oh, he put on the robes for... You smart, bro! He's smart, because these have fire resistance. 
And even though it's black fire, it does... It does help. I'm about to be out of here. Let's go. You ready for this? Come on, bro. It's about to get real. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I rolled right into it. I gotta cut off his tail. That's what has to happen here. Because you get a special weapon for cutting off his tail. And I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. He's pissed. Oh! Oh! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, man. I need to cut off his tail. I'm only trying to hit his tail. Right there, right there, right there! Oh! At least we hit it. Woo! Right here, right here too. Can I run up on it? Get the key here. Oh! A big key here in this fight is to, is to not lock on. You want a free move? You have to time your rolls and just keep running, keep running. But watch your stamina though, watch your stamina. Oh, he's gonna hit him with it. He tried, he tried, he missed. I want that tail! Oh! Yo, he's mad range. Oh. We have to get him to do his tail attack, honestly. That's so hard. Because we could be attacking him, but like... Once his tail is off, ooh, it's a wrap. Do some damage. Get him pissed off.
I think just got that one. Man, trying to cut his tail off to get to get that weapon. We almost had it. I bet you just one more uh, cycle, because we already had hit it a couple times. So I think one more like we we'll just got it. It doesn't take a lot. It's all good though. All good. We got the fight though. We, we could have taken it out in that time. I don't think he's coming back. That's someone else going straight for the dragon. our same pal it is thank you bro we got this we will prevail Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, bro. Hold on, tight net loser. I keep forgetting about it. I died when I was. Let's go. Your tail's coming off, bro. You gotta do it sooner, sooner than later. It's crazy. From the dogs. That was one. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. He's catching me. Alright, come on. Got him. I can't attack during this time. Too mad doing this. Doing that. Shouldn't do it, bro. That's what killed me. That's what killed me last game. That same one. A swipe.
Get it, get it, get the tail, get the tail, get the tail. Just, just finish it. It's too risky trying to just wait for an opportunity on the tail. Unless you get the perfect move set while while you're fighting it. Just finish the fight. I'm going for it. Unless it did that tail smash right now, like that would be perfect. Oh, that's it! it hit it! No, no! Ah, oh, it didn't do it, but to the stars. Thank you, man. Man, we killed it by hitting his tail. But, it didn't cut it off. That would have been epic if it cut off as we killed it. Man, that would have been perfect. But GG, tick out Calumet. It's not your average Skyrim Dragon. <laughs> and believe it or not, as you saw, when we killed it, we got what's called the Calamity Ring. That's what it dropped. And believe it or not, for people, for Dark Souls isn't as hard as it is already. If you wear the Calamity Ring, you receive double damage. That's all it does. So if, <laughs> so if the game's not already as hard as it is, there you go. If you're up for a challenge, Calamity Ring. You deal twice as much damage. No, you receive twice as much damage. <laughs> Crazy. But alright, check out Calamity. Woo! Now I'm gonna actually pick up these three items that they that they uh that they tease you with. Soul of a hero, look at that, ten thousand souls right there. Soul of a brave warrior. Bunch of brave souls. I'm gonna go check out what that little spot is right there. It looks like a chest. Yes it is. I'm gonna go grab this real quick. Check out the chain real quick, curve to the back, we're all good. All good. Slab! It's a Titanite slab! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. That is a item you need to maximize a regular type weapon. To do the final upgrade. You need a Titanite slab. So those are great to have. 
Now we're gonna just explore down this way where he was hanging out. That's crazy. If it wasn't for the help of Go, though, you know, shooting out the sky, kind of limiting its ability to fly. An item way back here. If only Hawkeye were here. Interesting. Now that's a developer message. And interestingly enough, I could be wrong, but this is my first time seeing this. I feel like Hawkeye is a giant archer in Dark Souls 3. Unless I'm mistaken, but that would be crazy for us. And why would that message be there like that? Goes great arrow. Very interesting. But alright. Now I would just up in uh, Homer Bone right now, but I'm gonna get that Titanite Lizard real quick. Not gonna let him live. So I don't plan on coming back to this area. We could put on our Shadow Guard. Yeah. Super long ladder. <laughs> so we took out Calamite. Nice. The next stop is the tomb of the giants. Good luck. I already, I already did it. Alright, so the drop off is right here, I think. No. Here. Alright, so now I'm gonna do my little restart trick. It literally takes like 10 seconds. But doing this will refresh the Titanite Lizard without having to go to the bonfire. So now when we come back in game, should be chilling. Whatever he was. Took too long. One more time. Ha ha! Got it. All right, now. Boop, boop. 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 All right, now we are done with the DLC. All done. Defeated all enemies, all bosses. Got all items. The only thing left to do that you can do is the PvP section where there's the the arenas. And I, per se, I, after we finish what we got to do, I may do a couple rounds in that just to test out our builds <laughs> in the PvP ring. <laughs> but real quick, I want to go talk to Go. See if his dialogue's changed now that we've defeated Calamite. Hey, good luck, son, the, on the help, bro. Shout him up the sky and whatnot. <laughs> Helping a brother out. Again. 
Guardians, shall we knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, <coughs> hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions, thou will understand one day. With our twilight, old thoughts return. Great waves of nostalgia. Okay. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. Why, thank you. All right. We're out. And now we will head to the tomb. Tomb of the Giants. Where we're going to take out Gravelord Nido. Which is the second of the four lords that we need to, to defeat. So we've already taken out Seath the Scaleless. And now we will venture to take out Gravelord Nido. Real quick, let's uh pop a red eye or see if we can evade someone here. Let's have some fun. Before we go into the tomb. Just while we're here. This is a fun invasion spot. Return the favor. <laughs> Let's see. I'll give it like... I'll give it like a minute. Four thousand ratings. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give it to forty-five. If I don't, if I don't invade no one. Oh, we have found someone. <laughs> I'll <was> just. <laughs> oh, and he's right here. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> They turned off their console. Cause while you're in being while you're invaded, or if you have someone summoned, you're not allowed to quit the game. Cause like there's someone in your world. They're like, nah, you're not running away from this. So the only way to do what just happened is by turning off your console. <laughs> it was probably so bad. Alright, well Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go to Catacombs. Not a place I would like to be, but it's where we gotta go. Alright. Hey, what up, bro? You know what? While I'm down here, I got a weapon I want you to make. Bro. Whatever, bro. I didn't want to do that with you anyway. Alright. Green Titanite slab to finish this this fire great scythe I got going on here. Oh, whatever, bro. All right, let's do some level ups. I want some health. 
All right. There we go. Yeah, I know. Stupid bone, bone wheels. This spot sucks. Honestly. These are very tricky to fight. <laughs> ah, ha ha! I have acquired the bone wheel shield. <laughs> That's actually a rare drop though. You can actually uh, get that as a shield. That bone wheel. It has a lot of attack. It's, I think it has the highest attack damage for a shield. No, that the spike shield. I think does actually, but. Who wants to attack with the shield though? Alright. Alright. This is where we fought. Um, the pinwheel, if you remember. And we came up this way, but we went back because we did not want to go. Th we did not want to go this way. Mm -mm. But now we're here, and while we're down here, we're gonna need w this item right here: the skull lantern. Just with the skull lantern, it will light our way through this place. Need head? Yeah, this head. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. All right. So now is our time to venture through the Tomb of the Giants, which is completely pitch black. This entire place is like this, completely pitch black. And there's two items of light you can use to go through here. There's used to go through here. There's this lamp, and then there's also a little bug light that you wear on your head, so it's hands-free, you know. But you get that in a different area. We haven't gone there yet, so we'll we'll make do with the lamp. It's all good. Tomb of the Giants. Enemy ahead. Yeah, you can see those little beady eyes right there. And you walk up to it. Yep. What up, man? I usually just take out my shield at this point. Oh, you kicked me mad hard. Nice. Alright, and I'll take my, my lamp back out. We're all good. Now we're gonna walk down some more. Now here, there's going to be uh, two pathways. Um, we can either go down that way, or we can go off the edge here, believe it or not. And the same guy is down here. So we're going to drop attack that guy. It's actually killed him. It's very good. It's good, good for us, at least. Now, if you look down here... Oh, there's actually an item here. If you look down here, too, there's another item off the edge. So that's supposed to show us that we can go down there. Real quick, we're just going to come back this way. This is the ramp we would have just slid down. You can hear a whole bunch of stuff. Look, there's a little beady eyes right there. And there's nothing down. There actually is an archer right there. There's two archers down there. 
Okay, so we can either slide down the stairs and go that way, or go down the other way, or go towards the item. There's actually more eyes right there. So, but we're gonna go down this way. And then we're gonna end up looping back around. So, um, yeah. So here we go. Um, let's see the item. Just gonna grab this first, go this way. Humanity, nice. Alright, let's see what we're looking like. Look, it's actually a hand. What the heck? That, that might be the guy I killed. Anyways. Then we're gonna drop down. Boop. Now what these are... These are actually miracles. Left by... Um... The, uh... What are they called? The clerics that ventured down here. And when we use this headlamp... They light up. And, and those signals signify a pathway. A hidden pathway. That, um, so we'll be following that shortly. But here's this this old character. Um, yeah. This is a... Uh, you look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? A uh, cleric. I'm answering that no. No? Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first. But... Well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> so he wants us to step there and look down over the edge at all the loot down there. Look, there's more of those lights down there. Interesting. But, uh, um... I know it's kind of hard to follow what, what I'm doing down here. It already is alone on, on on its own in the regular world, but down here, like, there's no direction, and it's so hard because it's pitch black. Now, look at this. This is very cool. Um, We're going to drop down here, though. Ooh, there's a bonfire that we're going to light. That's what I wanted to do. But look at this. This is really cool. Now, here we get a glimpse at all totally other area of the game this isn't that is the demon ruins that we're actually going to be going to um later in the game we're not gonna be going there soon but later in the game we will we, we will be venturing through there we could have already but you can actually choose the order on which where you want to go you don't have to do it the way I'm, I'm doing it once you learn the map and learn the game you can create multiple creative ways to play through the game whether it's your play style or which bosses you fight in what order, which ones you do, because you don't have to fight all of them. There's a lot of optional bosses. There's alternate pathways. Ridiculous, but it's cool. Here, you, you can actually see the demon ruins. Like, you get a glimpse. And I'm sure when you're over there and you look over here, you can see pitch black nothing. <laughs> because that's the Tomb of the Giants. Um, it's insane. But nice. We got a nice little bonfire down here. I really like this bonfire. This is the one that you can actually warp to. So we can now warp back to this specific bonfire. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to activate that so we can come back here. Um, I should kindle it, but I'm not. Not right now. No, there's no other way here. It was just back up, back up this ladder. Now, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, for speedrunners and all those who just want to get through this because some people hate the tomb and honestly sometimes when I'm just doing my my new game pluses I don't even fully loot the tomb I just grab a couple things I need or just go straight to Grave Lernito but that is the way straight through past this area go fight the boss not straight to the boss because there's more to do but we're going to loot, loot back because we did slide past a bunch of little platforms and enemies there so we're going to go back loot everything kill everybody it's gonna be a little difficult but we got this and then we're gonna keep venturing forward how we should be doing this now first we're gonna deal with a little sneaky pete over there now right here is where the line of lights stop if you notice if you attack the wall because there's actually an illusionary wall and they continue going down through this way all right now down here um there's going to be three 
uh, those ground enemies, like these sand things. Yeah, and they're pretty strong. I want to kill them as soon as possible. There's one more in the back. There we go. Alright. Cool. And now the lights continue through here. Believe it or not. And, okay, so now, um, for those who may remember, for those who don't, I'll fill you in. There were a group of NPCs that were at Firelink's Shrine. And they, uh, they were a bunch of clerics. It started with just one. And we talked to him. He led us into the Way of White Covenant. It was actually the first NPC we ever... The second NPC we ever encountered, actually. Um, and then over time, his group got bigger. Because people joined and they said they were going to venture into the catacombs. And then they go... And then he comes back, just him alone, the first guy we talked to. And they're not with him anymore. And he says they ran into trouble and something happened. And he left. or, or and, and he had to escape and that they didn't make it. Long story short, believe it or not, he actually purposely did that. Intending for them to die. And left them down there. That dude's evil. Spoiler alert. I'm just kidding. Not spoiler alert. Ooh, thank you, man, for the Kindle. Psst, nice. But okay, so now these lights though are left by clerics. They're actually a miracle, um, uh, to to seek guidance miracle that one of the, that we're gonna find right now. One of the clerics use, but so long story short, his group is actually down here, and I'm saying that because what's supposed to happen. I'm actually doing a little like advanced backdoor secret. What's supposed to happen when you look over the edge that he wanted me to look over is he's gonna push you down and trick you. And once you fall down there, it's going to trigger a fight. You're going to immediately fight those clerics. They're down here, and they went mad. They turned un um, undead. So now they're, like, not sane anymore. They're not even themselves. But if you do this, you follow the lights first instead of looking over the edge. So this is a legit alternate pathway. You can follow these lights down here, and it's the back door. And what this will do is you won't trigger the fight head on is now we're actually going to be able to look this is back and that's one of the clerics and now we've aggroed the fight Siegfried and Roy, I'm just kidding it be better just to see them That really hurt this dude. Ooh. Bad time to parry. So these guys went mad. We've actually talked to these guys already when they were saying... Sorry, man. That would have one hit him. So we were actually talking to these guys. I'm very sorry for what happened. And they were saying, and they were actually just venturing down here on a, on a, on a mission. And that dude left them down here. That's cold. It's real cold. But these lights were left by da, 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 her, because she's not she's not um, hollow. Banish those two hollows, did you? I did. Pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Replenishment. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. And she's like glad I saved I'm them. Certain that both Vince, Vince and Nico. Yeah, that's who they were. And we helped save her because she was kind of trapped down there too. Now we. And there's a skull lantern down here. So if you haven't found a skull lantern yet, if you can try and get get, get down here on your own, if you remember the pathway, because doing it your first time, you would not know that that's there and how to get there. But if you know it, then you could go down and grab that. Now up here, once you grab this item, it's going to trigger. Once we grab this item, it will trigger uh, some enemies to pop up. So cause it's a it's a white titanite chunk, which is a a, a good item, but. These guys do not want me to have it. Mm. 
But these guys are pretty easy. We're good. Oh, as I almost died on. Is that it? Is there more? There's gotta be more. Yeah, I think some more pop up in the in this pathway. So uh, that that's a dead end. This is our pathway back out. Um, let's see here. Yeah, some more popped up at the end here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, that's if you get pushed down. Because you know how we killed three as soon as we came down this? If you get pushed down, then on your way out of that, there's three there. So, alright, now we're going to come back out, go take a right, go back down this pathway, back to where we were. We're going to talk to this guy now, who, st who still wants us to take a closer look. So, we're going to look over now, triggers this cutscene. That's terrible. <laughs> this is what I do, my friends. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse. That's the real treasure. <laughs> wow. Little does he know. I've already cleared this whole area. How about that? I'll come have a word with that guy. I'll tell him that. Where are you? I don't have a word with you. Oh, oh you. Yeah, me. I, huh? Huh? Hmm? Let's just hmm? calm down. Talk about this. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? So here you can choose to forgive him or not to forgive him. And you can kill him now if you want. And you'll get his, the loot he holds, his shield, his weapons, and uh, I think some humanity. I just got invaded. Oh, brilliant. We're gonna hurry this up. Uh... <laughs> Alright, let's fight this invader. He wants me to back to backstab him. Wow. And he's wearing one of those hats that lights up the area. So I can't see I can't see his light though. He, uh, so for me it's just pitch black and I'm just fighting him. But he's glowing so it helps. But that hat it was lighting up the whole area, so he was he, he was straight. And pyromancers. Alright, so, but, as I was saying about him now, is you can choose to forgive him or not to forgive him. I chose to forgive him at this moment, because, yeah, I already forgave you. But so, if you don't, you can kill him now and fight him, you get his loot, yada yada. But, or if you forgive him, he becomes a merchant in Firelink Shrine after you leave this area, and it's worth it. Then you could buy certain items off him that you could only get off of him. It's good to wait till you buy those items off of him, and then you kill him for his trifling actions. So we're gonna let him live for now. Let him take it straight. But no. All right. So now we're gonna keep going to this way. Now we got some people shooting arrows, so we we gotta be careful. 
We're gonna keep walking up this way. I know I saw that hole. Well, if you didn't, there's a hole back there. We're gonna keep going this way. Now the other one is over there, and I can't really reach him right now, so I will just continue on forward, up the ladder, and we're going to see an item, I think, on this ladder, I believe it is, that we're going to have to, yeah, there we go, we're going to have to jump off, oh, I jumped off the wrong edge. Gonna hit me. I knew it. That's why that dude's there, I bet. So for people who have lower health, you could land to take the fall damage and then just die immediately. I believe it's right here. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Oh, now you see some little glowing eyes in front of us. Let's grab this item first. Alright, so first guy, you're up first. How you doing? Welcome to the magic. Ow. Welcome to the magic fight. Yeah, magic fight. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so that's the way we came. You see there's a way over there by the nice little prism stone left by someone. Alright, and we got an item up there. Can't can't get it yet, so we're just gonna continue up this ladder. Still can't get the item, but there's another ladder. <laughs> Alright, let us see here. Dead end, dead end. Ah, a way to get the item. Nice. The Eye of Death. Those are used for the Grave Lord's servants to upgrade in the Covenant. All right, I'm gonna go back up this way. So we grab the item. Now we gotta go up here. Grab this item. Boop. Which brings us full circle back around to the top of the tomb of the giants. Nice. That's where we fought Pinwheel. And this is where we entered. Now instead of sliding down the shortcut to the bonfire, now I'm going to walk down the main path and take out all the enemies. Because it's much... much. Uh, I think it's much better to do it this way. Tell that guy. I walk down. We're still gonna take this first jump of a shortcut because it just helps <coughs> to take out that guy first. It's the same slide. Now, the question is. Oh, never mind. These guys aren't here anymore, so I'm sure that that was the path we walked up to go up that ladder. Alright, so we're just gonna go straight down this way. It's gonna lead right into a fight. I meant to do this. Not the other time. Oh man. You know what? We're gonna jump off the edge on that on that second one. I did it. I don't wanna check it out, but I checked it out. Yeah. It's all good though. Just gonna run back through this. Man. 
GG Try this again. I right, go up the edge. arrows sticking out of me <laughs> alright you first bud <coughs> oh can you kick me bro I think that ledge is the one that I was standing on. I'll check it out. Let's see. Let's see, it was a purple prism stone this time. Go up this way. And we gotta go jump back to the front. This guy, as you can see, see how he doesn't have a, a lamp? No, neither does that guy. There's people who just walk through this place very slowly. Because you get that little bit of light right right in front of you. So that's another way. If you want to go through this place like this. But it's not worth it. The hat is ultimately the best. And to do that, you, you would, do have to go through Lost Izalith first. You don't have to finish it. You could do it up to you find the hat. Which is pretty much towards the end. <laughs> but still... You know you don't have to, fin to finish it. Now I think that this was the lighthouse. Maybe not. I think that we can see. Yeah, right, right there. There's some eyes. Um, so we're just gonna drop down. Nice. So definitely recommend that that drop down on the side. Now here we got another coffin, and that slides down to the main area where we just were, where the bonfire is. So let's just do a quick check on what's even over here. This may be completely pointless. I thought there was one other path here, but no. It leads down back towards. Here, so okay, so doing the 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 jump off from from the get is worth it, and you don't I you don't have to loop back around. I mean, to get the other items, but nice. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna kindle this bonfire. So I need four humanity to do that. Once a reverse Halloween. Three to Kindle. Hope I don't get invaded again. Kendall. All right, this next area we're going to take care of. It's a little tricky. It's for uh, Ember. For the blacksmith. To make a new type of weapon. Just to make sure. I want to make sure there's no... 
way up to kill that guy. Because he is very annoying. But down that hole is where the ember is. His homie's just standing up there. We're, we're going in. Now down there. Yeah, look at that. There's like 30 of these guys. So it's going to be tough. Luckily they don't all get summoned. I mean, uh, aggroed at once. As you can see, they're not all c coming to fight me. Wonder how many are left. I think it's just like one or two. But see, it doesn't take much room to aggro them. So, so if you walk in, if you walk into like half of the room, you'll aggro all of them, and it's like impossible, practical. I think we got them all. Nice. In the back here, like it's another another blacksmith of a store. Large divine ember. Nice. Nice. And here we got an item. Soul of a brave warrior. Nice. All right, that went down a lot easier than expected. It helps to get a drop attack on like one or one or two of them, which is what I tried to do, but kind of a little messed up, but. Glad I got out of that situation safely. All right, let's keep going. All right, now we're gonna continue forward towards this path that I was talking about because we've cleared everything behind us. Got all the items, killed the enemies, did what we had to do. So we're gonna have this dog here. I think this is the first one we see. I don't remember. It's not even a dog. It's just a regular skeleton on all fours. That attack is killer. That one he just did? Whew. Lethal. I don't believe there's anything over here. It's just room for him to scare you off the edge. Now we have a fog gate. Fantastic. And there's going to be a black knight over this way too. And I, and I forgot when he'll be aggroed, but we will aggro him eventually. He's just going to start pushing towards us. I think he's already aggroed. If you hear him running at us. He's pissed off. And we got this guy running at us. I mean, shooting arrows at us. There he is. Can't see him, but I can lock onto him. Ow, oh, man. I think he has a halberd. We have the same weapon, man. Can I heal, guys? What the heck? Apparently not. Yeah, he's turned around with that. I can't even see this guy. Ooh! Ooh! Got him! Oh, I swear, if that arrow killed me. I would have been pissed. Oh, yeah, we got him now. Ha! It's a little hard to fight him in pitch black. Alright, now there's gonna be one of those dog things right here that we have to fight while watching out for this guy with the arrows. I mean, that helps, but totally meant to attack. Nice. It's good to have the long range weapon. Alright, now we're gonna stay a little bit to the right. Not to aggro this guy, but we're gonna run up to this guy who's pissing me off. And take him out. Alright. Got an item to grab right here. Brave Warrior. Ring ahead. Nice. First, we're gonna take out. Sounds like he's right there. Okay. 
Whatever, whatever. Nice. All right, took him out. Whew. All right. Um, ring ahead. This is the right. Sp oh yeah. Okay. You know what? We'll we'll wait on that. I gotta come back around for that. You'll see. You'll see. All right. Let's um. I hear. I think there's another dog down here. Yeah. The boat. Okay. Farther than I thought. Okay. So we're gonna see that item way over there. Yeah, we're gonna loop through this way. Hug, hug the wall, and we're gonna grab this guy right here. A Fiji shield. A figgy, Fiji. A Fiji. I think that's what it is. And look, there's more lights down here leading us through. It's like, huh, what is this way? That is the way, but it's not the way I want to go. Because what we can do first is there's this dog right here that we can do a drop attack on to get started on our fight down here. Helps us out a lot because it takes one out instead of fighting multiple multiple of these guys at once. Nice. Alright. Take we've taken him out. And then I believe the rest we're hearing are down on the next level. Which we don't need to be worrying about yet. Now down this was a bonfire. But I don't want to hit the bonfire yet. Um, what I'm going to do... Alright, uh, now's the time. You see that item up there? That's the ring that that message was talking about. If you don't remember what, what, what message, I will show you. And it's very... And that's one of the things that playing Dark Souls Online is kind of a must. Because playing it offline and not looking anything up... Uh, whew, it's tough. But look, ring ahead. It's a great message. And as you can see... There's more messages and stuff and bloodstains. So it's a sign that, yeah, you can. You could land down here. And we almost missed it, actually. But yeah, you could actually land down here. This is a big little, little secret to find. As soon as you grab it, though, yeah, you get. You get cornered. I think we've taken care of them all. Nice. What was that? Was that the silver serpent ring, right? I believe so, because we already had the gold one. Yeah. So this, we get extra souls for every kill. Where the gold ring boosts your item discovery, you get more souls. Nice. And we're actually not wearing a second ring right now. So why not put that on? Let's get some more souls, right? Alright, now the way off from here is to jump onto the platform where we just were. Or else you die. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we just fought that other skeleton and the dog. Nice. Now that we got the items, we're gonna hit this bonfire. Need soldier. <laughs> bonfire! Nice. Um, I would like to kindle this. I don't have that much left. We're going to do it anyways. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And this is the second uh, bonfire in the Tomb of the Giants. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Alright. Now we're gonna continue back. Now before continuing forward, I'm gonna go back to the side here and take out this dog because he tends to follow us. I'm kidding. I lost him. I'm punching him. <laughs> Good to have that long range weapon. All right, then we're gonna continue down more. Right here is a little tricky because there's three of them here hiding in this next spot. We're gonna grab this item first. White Titanite chunk, another one. It's very nice. Right here, we're gonna have three, and we can't aggro them one at a time, which we're going to have to do. What the? Why did this guy follow us? He's from up above. He just like jumped down on us. He's like, I want in on the fight, yo. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't aggro the dog. One down, two to go. Nice. I got one left. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Whew. This is tough. <laughs> and we're doing it with the lantern. With the headlamp, it's so much easier. So much easier. Alright. Look at that! That is... Presumes to be... A view of the Ash Lake. Um, which is a, another part that we're going to go do later in the game. But that's crazy. I never realized that over here you get a glimpse of like the demon ruins, and over here is the Ash Lake. Whew. We must be low. We're deep. Alright, anyways, um, back to this. Took out these three guys. Nice, came from that way. Gonna continue down this way. I think there's another item. Yep. Come to this way. Soul of a brave warrior. The brave warriors. Alright, and now we're gonna come down here. Drop down. No items, no, no ledges. Imminent grief. Now, I'm glad we're human because we need to be for this next part. Because here, there's going to be a. Once we walk in a little further, it's going to trigger a NPC invasion. And if you're not hollow, then it won't trigger the invasion. But we, I want it, I want it to, be, to be triggered now so that we can take him out. And I'm going to do a little cheap shot here, believe it or not. I don't like invaders. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Paladin Leroy, though, he that is, in my opinion, the best armor in the game. There's, there is stronger armor, but for its weight and what it does, because it's like a, it's like a heavy medium. It's not a heavy armor, but it's not a medium armor, you know. But its defenses to what it does is. Insane, insane. It's so it's so strong, and and if you wear it, like honestly, that's gonna be our fit once we get it. Like on our brass knight account, 
that's it. I'm gonna up our endurance so we could keep some mobility with it, and we're gonna get that. Humanity acquired. And that's his weapons, actually. The Grant and the Sanctus that he dropped. And I forget, does the Sanctus do... Um, let's see. Ah, it does not do 100% physical damage. But it has 410 durability. Very specific. And look, it has 70 fire and 50 lightning resistance. And it looks awesome. Unable to wield weapon because... Oh, you need 18 faith just to use... Just, just to wear it. With the way of white granted to an undead p paladin long ago. Oh, it provides HP recovery. While you use the shield, you get slight HP recovery. But you need 18 faith for it to work. So it's not working for us right now. So we're going to go back to our, uh, our crush shields here. Which does 100 physical resistance, 80 magic, 55, that's nice. Alright. Let's continue. Yeah, look, that's the Ash Lake. We're right here. That like, gorgeous view. For real. Watch when we go to the Ash Lake. Like, you're gonna be like, whoa. Like, we're gonna be there. I was gonna say, now that I think of it too, like, that's not even like, we're towards the top, because when you're in the Ash Lake, you're at the roots, so you're at like the bottoms of all these trees. So if you look, we're like looking at towards the tops of them, so like, it goes, like I said, it goes lower. That's dope. I like that. Alright. And we're gonna be able to get Paladin Leroy's armor, um, right after, not right after, but after we've killed Grave Lord Nito. So hopefully we can, we'll get that going. Get the armor. Nice. Alright, this next area is filled with pinwheels. Remember the pinwheel boss we fought, the mini boss? Yeah, there's like seven in here. We have to be very careful because they are pretty powerful. Oh, it's not in this direct room. We have, they're, in, they're in the next room. We're going to have a couple of these guys. We're going to have to have to take out in our, in our pathway. Another one popped up behind us. Now this guy's shooting arrows at us. Wow, there's all of these things in front of us. Now he's shooting arrows, but we have one hiding. Right right next to us. Come out. Okay, come out. All set. Now we just gotta be careful fighting the pinwheels though, because they're they're easy to kill, but they do a lot of damage. And and when they're all shooting fireballs at you, it's kinda hard to dodge them. Look at this. Yeah. Look at all of them. Yeah, you kinda can't stop moving here. You gotta get get, get around to all of them. At least look at that. We we can one hit them. And look at that, there's many skeletons down here. Little baby skeletons running around. And they do quite a bit of damage actually, believe it or not. So it can be a little tough. We're doing a good job with the pinwheels though. This is very good. Nice, I think that's all of them. Now we need to keep consistently moving here because these dudes will just run up to us and they don't stop. They continually re respawn. So you can just keep killing them and killing them. Soul of a hero, 10,000 souls. Nice. And these guys are weak. And they just do little damage. A bunch of little damage to you. Now, the pinwheel does drop one of his masks. Um, when you kill them as the boss, and so do these, have a rare chance of dropping a mask. Or white titanite chunk, and for example, so you can sit here and farm them for the different masks, 
but it's not worth it because you're gonna be able to buy the mask pretty soon but we're gonna go grab these items so much white titanite chunks if you need white titanite chunks like this is the place to be we're gonna keep moving it's not worth killing them honestly I mean they, they give you souls and I'm just I'm I'm only getting that much for killing them because I have I'm wearing this ring so look see one drop the mask of the mother so if you keep farming them you can keep respawning and that and they'll keep respawning as well and you can farm all the masks or white titanite your choice all right I believe we got all the items around there so should venture forward now we got a fog gate and with our experience we know what fog gates do oh there's one more item how could I have missed it yeah look they do a lot of damage and they and they give you toxin I, I forgot about that crazy Soul of another 10,000 souls. Nice. Look at that. There's two souls of heroes down here. Pretty nice. Yes, 71k souls right now. All right. Traverse the white light. Now here we have to just drop down and engage the fight. Now I would have liked to summon someone for the distractions, mostly honestly, so we could do our attacks. But since we're alone, now there is a strategy you you can do by yourself. Now, just to explain the boss fight real quick, um, the arena is a ring. Like, there's a pillar in the middle where you can't see to the other side. You just it's like a, a circle. You keep walking around. Now, if you drop down, it will start the boss fight because he knows you're there. And normally people will just start walking around until they see him. But he has an army of skeletons that fight you at the same time as him. So if you um if you start walking around you're gonna aggro the skeletons. So then you're fighting him and the skeletons. But if you wait, you just don't move, you just stand on this side, he'll come around by, by himself. And it won't aggro all the skeletons. Some of them follow him, but there's other ones, like big ones that are just standing there. And they don't die. Like when you kill them, they keep respawning. Like they just get back to life, because he keeps reanimating them. So, since we're alone. Long story short, just stay here. Keep the fight in this first area, and you won't. And we, and we won't aggro the rest of them. Wow, I lost a lot of fall damage. And we actually came down here once, if you remember that, when we were in the catacombs, and we saw him in, in his coffin when we joined the covenant. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. Oh boy, let's pop a flask. Now, see, that's him right there. Now, if I start running at him now, it's gonna aggro the other skeleton army. So now I'm gonna wait here. Now there's little skeletons as you can see with him, but it's much better than the big ones that that end up trying to come at us. Now, if we keep them dead for a little bit. What? How did I roll right into that? Wow. He just grabbed me and killed me. He just like... Popped me like a... Like a humanity. <laughs> All right. Wow. Humanity restored. Now, it would be nice if someone wanted to drop their sign. And be of help to me. While I give it another minute, see if someone does drop, drop their sign down. I'm going to go get a cup of water. Give me one moment, please.
All right, I'm back. I snuck a bathroom break in that. <laughs> but I got some water. Good. No one dropped their sign, so. Let's go. All right, we're going to speed run straight to the boss, though. Now that we've already looted everything, we don't need to fight anyone. Just hug the wall, hug the wall. Follow the lights. <laughs> you can drop down here. Down the hole. Look, got some free souls. <laughs> now these guys though, I am going to fight. Try rolling. That kills you. Yo, people are such trolls. These things all just drop the white titanite chunks. Very useful. I thought I was gonna hit it. Now this guy disappears when we walk close. We're only gonna come around the corner here. Take out these guys. I don't even gotta worry about that other one, whatever. Now hopefully we can just run past these guys and not get hit. I'm just gonna run up the manual way. Ah, oh, I got hit. No! I don't like this one standing right here. Traverse. Nice. Alright. I'd rather be in here. Now we're gonna take fall damage, so I'm just gonna drop down. Imagine it kills us. I've been so mad. Skip the intro, pop a flask, alright, grab our souls, we're back in the fight. I just roll at us. Oh, he did that, man. That's actually an attack that you can unlock as well. We're fighting the skeletons. He's coming at us. Now we're gonna come at him and back up. That's what that scream is. It's, ag it's triggering that move right there. And it's honestly good to have multiple people just to distract these dang skeletons. But he actually hurts the skeletons too. So if you can dodge his attacks, you can uh. Get back, get back, get back. They actually killed everyone too. I'm doing it again. Back up, back up. It's actually gonna kill all of them. Come back. Doing it again, we're gonna back up, back up, take this chance to pop a flask, even if it hits us. And wait. It's 
to the stars. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. And see, we didn't even aggro all those stupid skeletons on the other side. Nice. Yeah, because if, if we had run over this side, this whole corner is filled with those with the big giants that were all in the tomb. And then you end up fighting the little ones and the giants and him all at once. So as you see, it's uh, it was hard enough with the little ones running at us. But he, he kills them, so if you could dodge his attacks and keep him moving, you're good. And you get a lot of chances to, to hit him, so he's, just, he's good. Nice. We got through that nice. Ah, hit a level up, ah, ah, hit a level up, ah, ah, get my endurance up 34, I like that, I like that. Now, um, ah, you see this item over here, normally, it's not here, if you didn't kill Leroy Paladin. Now since we killed him, this appears here, and this is actually his armor, so we got it, the Paladin armor. Now, hopefully, while we're wearing it, we get a medium roll. If we could wear it with a medium roll, I'll be happy. But, uh, it has less poison and bleed resistance. That's what, because that's what's special about the, the ninja garb we're wearing now. It has the highest blood, I mean, uh, bleed and poison resistance. So, yeah, it's less than that. But the curse resistance is the highest in the game, which is phenomenal on its own. And it has really good durability and... And we're the Brass Knight. You already know we're about to rock the Paladin armor. We're the Brass Knight out here. And we have a medium roll. I like it. So we are out here. Look at this. Ah! And I will get a light roll out of this. We're going to get a light roll. I'm going to keep up in our endurance till we're good. And we can actually look at our equip load. I didn't mean to do that. To remove this now. We're good on that. Nice. I'm liking it now. All right, so we got rid of the light roll, but we got a medium roll back, and we got some more armor now. Let's see if I can switch up our shield. I'm not liking that blue. I mean that. Uh, yeah, that's blue. Got like no good good shield though for him. Not uh, yet, at least. Look at all that. Crazy resistance. 100 physical, 90 magic, 80 fire, 80 lightning, 84 stability. Stupid, yo. Havel's great shield. His whole set is, ret is retarded. But it's stupid heavy. Like, watch. How heavy is it? 26 pounds. Compared to, like, 14, 6, 3, like... 26 pounds crazy all right we're gonna keep this shield for now though but nice i'm liking the fit nice doing good now back to fire link shrine bloom Nice. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the armor we got now. This is one of my favorite armor heavy armor sets in the game. Even though it's not like heavy armor, but like I said. Oof, look at that. That's our brass knight right there, right? Ah. Look at that. It's the brass city knight. Ha! Huh? I like that. Uh. We're going to change that shield though soon. But at least there's gold in it to match the armor. But
Ja! Ah! So, alright, two of the four lords down. And we took out Black Dragon Colony. Did, did quite a good job. And, um. We're getting pretty close to completing our game here. We have two more lords left to take out. But it's gonna take some time. Even though we're close, but we're. We're, we're almost there. Almost there, guys. So, uh, we're gonna wrap the stream up there. That's gonna be it for, uh, for this stream for right now. And, uh, yeah, when we come back next week, uh, we will debating on which area to do next. I'm thinking about, uh,. Because either between going down to Lost Azalith to take out the Bed of Chaos, which is the other lord, or going into New Londo Ruins to take out the Four Kings, which is the other of the lords. Now we could do either or. They're both just as annoying. <laughs> but I mean, uh. We're gonna go into. We're going to do uh, losses of this next week. I'm feeling that. If I switch it up, I'll, it'll be, I'll let y'all know, but I'm, not, I'm pretty confident I, I'm feeling it. Because the secret cutscene that we unlocked for Sif, I'm going to save that for the last Lord Soul. Because it's, it's, it'll be a nice little touch. So we're going to do losses of this next. Go get the Bed of Chaos. And do all that. And then after that... Um, we're gonna, and after that, then I'm, I'm gonna do it in one stream. I'm gonna tie everything else up. So I'm looking at only having two streams left um, of Dark Souls. So in these next two streams, we're gonna be clearing out a lot of areas and finishing a lot of and getting all the optional bosses out. Cause there's only like I think two optional bosses that I have to take out left. Yeah, so anyways, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to clear out the rest of the areas. Uh, yeah. So hopefully two streams left, and we're going to get a lot out. So I'll do Lost as a lift next week, and uh, maybe one or two extra areas that we're going to have to do. And then um, the week after will be a big jam week, and we'll do uh, a lot more. You know what? So then while we're here then, Let's take out one optional boss now. Why not? Because we got a little extra time, so let's end up... This guy! This is the... Uh, oh, you again? Yeah, no, you're gonna die. I've become separated from my lady. I've oh, have you? Near and far, but no sight of her. Really? you have gone. My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. We found her. Be wary, yeah. Your highness. I am in. Oh. You know, this guy's bad. I bet you this says, try stabbing the back. Yeah, because this guy is bad. No, no boy, no. By the lords. You damn fool. Enough of you. Enough of you. This can't be. It can't end like this. It does. Get out of here, bro. Take this humanity, too. Oh. And we come this way. Let's do another. While we're at it. No bank left here. Look who's over here. Ah! This guy. Oh, we meet again. You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And oh, really? Those treasures have I. There you are. Oh, relax. And he can learn his squat or prostration gesture. It's the squat. That's <laughs> funny. Alright, here. Um, you're gonna wanna buy his divine blessing. He only has one. Buy it. And he sells a bunch of humanity. Um, I'm gonna buy two, that's all I have enough of money for. Right. Good, don't you? <laughs> here, let's uh pop these hero souls I got. I got quite a few. Like five. That's 50,000 souls right there. 
Look at that. Alright, purchase item. I wanna buy. He only has one left, so he sells three regular humanity. And he sells one twin humanity. So you wanna buy all those off him. He sells these, you should already have them, so you don't really need that. Um, now he sells some pretty good weapons, honestly, that you can't get throughout in other parts. Like the talismans, um, the mace. I thought he sold another, but I think that's Dark Souls 3. Anyways. Now here, look, he actually sells full cleric armor, because he's killed a cleric. He doesn't like clerics. And he holds all three masks. Master the father, master the mother, master the child. Now, I think I, I have two already. So I want to see which one I don't have. Unless I have two masks of the mother. No, okay. So I have two masks of the mother. So I'll, just for why not, I'm going to buy the mask of the father and the mask of the child. So now we got all three. Right. Don't you? <laughs> and now I am all done with you, bro. Well, if that's what it has to be, why you? Why you? How in the? What did I do? What did you do? Did I do? What did you do? A thieving, trifling, tricking. Look, he drops his crescent axe anyways. There you go. If you want the crescent axe, don't even buy it. Don't even buy it. Get out of here. Thieving, trifling, tricking. No nope, respecting. Didn't call your mama. Told you you love her, having. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. So there is one mini boss that we left and have not encountered. I mean, we've. Yeah, no, we haven't even encountered him yet. So we're gonna go ahead and. and do that. We're gonna go this way. It's the upgraded version of the very first boss we ever have to fight. And I pointed him out when we first ran into him, but I was nowhere near strong enough to even want to fight him. But now, we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to take an attempt here. Go back to the island. We're going to take him out. Now, you're going to want to wait here for a moment. Let these guys come to you. Unless they don't, of course. Now, we're going to go down here. Hit this bonfire. Alright, now, go back. Let's kill these guys first. Alright. Send this stream with a finale. I'll just fall damage before the boss side. Attacks are crazy. You gotta just keep moving though. It's kinda all he has.
to the stars. Oops. Titanite slab! I forgot he drops the Titanite slab. That's nice. Look at that. That's that's a nice little goodie there. All right. He's normally very very hard. Now we just did very very good in that fight. I'm very glad. And he drops a homer bone because that's the only way out of here. Just hitting that homie bone and getting out. Look at that though. Nice. All right. Another optional boss. Check. Don't gotta do that anymore. And we've completed this whole area. We're gonna go back to Firelink, and now I'm gonna bring the stream to an end. Like I said, hopefully two streams left, depending on how things go. I may end up dying a lot, wasting a lot of time. I don't know what happens. But so two, max three streams left of this Dark Souls, and then we'll be at a wrap. And it's gonna be epic. We're gonna have epic boss fights, epic things going on, PVPs. It's gonna be sick. So thank you guys again for tuning in. You already know I'm Dizzy's the house, and thanks for tuning in. All right, um, thank you guys again for tuning in. Shout out to Brass City Gamers. Yo, drop a follow. Make sure your notifications on so you can always see when they go live and see all the goodies that they have going on. You can hit them up on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. Let them know. Follow them. It's awesome, y'all. You can even go to their website and see more about the classes and everything that, that they have to offer. So thank you guys again. I'm just the house. I'll be back next Friday, 2 p.m. You already know, and we're going to be traversing farther into Lodron. So, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. That's going to be a wrap for today's stream. Bada-bing, bada-boom. And now I'm out of here.